Hi, Stitchy Friends. Hi, Stitchy Friends. I'm Sarah. And I'm Jen. And we're back. And we're going to be doing an unboxing for you today of the new Black Needle Society box. Steampunk, Steampunk stitching. stitching. Yes. So, um, Jen had a great question before. She said, what is steampunk? And I couldn't really explain it. Like, I can visualize it. Yes. But I couldn't explain it. So, we looked it up on Wikipedia. So, I'm just going to tell you what Wikipedia says. And I'm just reading it here. It says, steampunk is a subgenre of science fiction that incorporates retro-futuristic technology and aesthetics inspired by the 19th century industrial steam-powered machinery. Steampunk works are often set in an alternative history of the Victorian era or the American Wild West, where steam power remains in mainstream use or in a fantasy world that similarly employs steam power. That was a mouthful. There's going to be a test at the end, so hopefully you're paying attention. <laughs> I'm glad she read that and not me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what it is. Um, but there's, like, a lot of uh, books written, you know, it, with kind of that aesthetic, um, you know, set in fantasy worlds, mm -hmm. like in the faux Victorian era. So, you know, some people who like to read those type of things might be a little more familiar with it than us. So, <laughs> all right. Okay. So, we got our boxes yesterday. We haven't opened them. We haven't looked at anything in these no, boxes. So this is all going to be a surprise. So are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's open it. All right. Okay. Get out the little booklet yes. here that tells us what all the things are. And uh, we're going to take turns um, picking Show things you out. a little yeah. picture of the, um, the cover, the steampunk cover. Yes. There you go. Yeah, so this little book, it tells you what's in the box, and it describes all of the... Um, items that are in the box yes and who they were made by and all the good the stuff. designers and all that stuff okay so what do you want to open first i don't know there looks like lots of goodies in there should we open uh should we open the the box this i think box? so yeah okay it and looks I, like some special i tools. know i love how they package it this has scissors on it too they always have fun packaging all right let's okay. see what they have specialty box okay and they do good job packaging yeah Oh, are these what I think they yes. are? Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. Do you all know who made these? Uh, yeah, these little tiny silks. I love how they're packaged. Yes, and, the, and they're um, so pretty. The colors and the names of the colors are written so tiny. So these you are probably by, can't even see it. These are by our friend Ymir. Uh, Ymir. I'm sorry. I was gonna say her. Uh, yeah, the name of the the threads, but Ymir, and it's almond M and M. They're beautiful. They're so pretty. Look at the color. Look at this orange. Can you see the variegation? I don't know. Oh, I'm not yeah. a good shower. That's beautiful. The variegation, and she yes. names them. I don't know. Can you read? Yeah. What so their the name orange is? that you just showed is uh, Hugo. Okay. Then we have Sherlock. Oh, how cute! And we have. The green is Nautilus. So cute. They're beautiful. They're, They're very so vibrant. I, I love know. It. And then we have uh, gears. So, so it says in here, these gorgeous silks were dyed exclusively for our March subscribers. It reminds of reminds us of the gorgeous silk gowns of the Victorian era. Oh, very nice. So, yes. And if you haven't used Ymir's uh, silks before, Wonderful. you need to because they're beautiful. They're lovely to work with. And she's an awesome person. She is. She's so nice and just a very sweet person and uh, very, very creative. And oh my gosh, um, yeah. her silks are beautiful. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. Yes, That's awesome. I'm very excited. I know what they were when I opened up. <laughs> yes. Okay, what do All you right, want to choose I'm next? going to grab this. Ooh. Oh, these are... Um, oh, are these thread drops? Or thread drops, yeah. Yeah, let me see here. Very nice. Looks like they have different Victorian... Do you want to open... There's plastic yeah. on it. Do you want to open it? And, yeah, I'll do that. And, and I'll find read. out here. Uh, oh, okay. So these are steam. the Steampunk Floss Card Set. Artwork by Louise DeRolt. Inventors are, are no notoriously disorganized. Use this thread card set to keep your threads from getting lost among your tools. Oh, very nice. So cute. She's getting hers out of the plastic. Oh, oh, so all they're all different, different designs. Yeah. So cute. All different designs. Let's see if I can flip through some of these. Oh, look at that one. This reminds me of like the World's Fair, like the yes. original World's Fair. Yes. Those are too oh, cute. Oh, those are cute. Is that the Oh, right that's way? a corset, yeah. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. 
Very nice. So cute. Oh, I love oh. these. Yeah. What a great bean. That's awesome. I, I love go them. through every one of them. But <laughs> they're all different. They're all different. Oh, oh nice. All of them are different. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's nice. And I like the way they feel. They're like nice. Yeah, they're soft. nice and and they're thick too, so yeah. they're not gonna bend or oh, rip. That's great. Okay, my, right, what my next? choosing. What's next? I'm just gonna reach in and choose something. Mm, okay, let me oh, find mine. Oh, little black. It's in a little black bag. Okay. Oh, here's mine. Okay. Okay. There's our little bag. Let's see what's in it. Oh, it's like a um, mm. a ring for your flosses. Yeah, we could put our um. And that is thread drops on there. Yes. Oh, so she, what, do you want to show? Oh, yes, I'll show when you read. Okay. I'm sorry, Sarah's better oh, no, at reading. You're fine. I don't have my glasses with me. Um, although I'm that not a great is, shower. Um, dirigible thread jewelry designed by the Black Needle Society. We couldn't resist okay. including this little piece of thread jewelry inspired by Katie and Laura's favorite steampunk book series. Oh, the Finishing School series by Gail Carriger. The girls attended a school for espionage in a dirig. I'm probably saying this wrong. Dirigible, dirig dirigible much Not like this sure. charm i could probably be butchering that but that's what it is that's cool now yeah. i need to read those, that book series. i know i don't i, I don't know anything it. about the book series yeah that'll be a nice little companion and then maybe we'll figure idea. out how to say this maybe <laughs> sorry all right oh it's my okay, turn your turn all right it kind of like pulled this out oh um, okay yeah. oh oh here we go it's a little oh. like fabric measure tool <gasps> to see what count fabric you have. Oh, this is great. Yes. Have you guys ever gotten um like the mystery bags? You just got a mystery bag. Yeah, and I didn't from, know what the counts were. Um, uh, yeah, from who, who did you get? Luminous it? Fiber Luminous Arts. Luminous Fiber Arts. So it's just a random all, bag of fabric. Yeah, and, it wasn't marked. And so this is awesome. And it's yes. nice and um and it's yeah. It's not paper. It's like a no. plastic. So it Yeah, you can so carry it's it a fabric measurement card, typography by heritage type. It says, did you lose the information tag for that piece of fabric you've been eyeing yes. for your next stitch? <laughs> Not to worry, we've included this super handy measurement card. Awesome. Very oh, right. nice. That's a great, a great thing to have. Okay, I'm just going to reach good. in here and grab something. Okay. There's some confetti stuff. Okay, I just reached on top. I think I, okay. I, think I know what this is. I think it's going to be a needle a minder. Needle minder. Amazing. You can so never have enough needle minders. No. There's always fun needle minders in these boxes. Very creative. Okay. Okay. We're getting better at this, having scissors we at the are. ready. <laughs> You're more organized. Mm, sort of. You got it? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. The League of Extraordinary Stitchers. Oh, how cute. Oh, That's you. okay. You be the shower. That's a little glary, but there you go. Yeah. It says the it's League a nice of size Extraordinary too. Stitchers. It is, let me find it here. Um, the Steampunk Heart Needle Minder, designed by the Black Needle Society. What you do as a stitcher is extraordinary. Let everyone know you are a proud member of the League of Extraordinary Stitchers. Oh, I like that. I'll take mm -hmm. it. Very nice. That's like my um, super stitcher needle minder you gave me a while back. Yes. And this is nice. It's a yes. nice, I like, it's, it's a solid. Yeah. Heavy needle binder. And it's got a good magnet. Yes. Okay, great. Right. Okay, um, I think it's your turn. Wow, there's a lot of things in I this I know. Box. It's like it's the fun keeps coming. Yes. All right, I'm going to pull this out next. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, it's oh. a notebook set. Oh, how cute. Oh, there's so two cute. notebooks here. Yeah. I'll pull mine yeah. apart so we can see the back. Yeah, so it's the Inventor's Notebook Duo, designed by the Black Needle Society. It's time to make something wonderful, time to go to the drawing board, or maybe to this notebook duo. The Inventions Notebook has gridded paper inside Ooh. to help you chart out ideas or customizations for your projects. You needed this when you were um, doing your initials yes, for that um, for Nottingham. Nottingham. I did, I did. Oh, this That's is awesome. great. And it's got a lot of pages in it, too. Oh, this is nice. I've and never, so, I've never tried my hand at like changing or charting anything. Well, so this you've will be added a, good... a few things here and there. You did Toby's name and the dates. Yeah, that wasn't and, Yeah, but I might have to try my hand at some yeah. changes or designing. And these are nice books. I like the um, how do you, what do you call this? This uh, the cover. I don't know. It's like a, it's just a nice, a nice cover. I don't know what it's you like call it. Like a nice it. thick cardstock. I don't know. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. 
It's so cute. I love all the little keys. I do too. Okay, why don't we just grab? Oh, okay. sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt oh, you. Oh no. You want to grab the one just underneath of it? Okay. Oh, what is this? What is this? Holy. Oh cow. wow. I'm gonna show it. Yeah, you show it, and I'll figure out. Wow. What it is. Something. Um, wow. It's wooden. Okay. It's a clock. Okay, I think this is the, yeah, this is the clockwork wheel organiz organizer made by U Gears. Add some oh, wow. steampunk to your stitching area. This wheel organizer is meant to hold pens and pencils, but we're oh. going to be using it to store our stitching stick uh, scissors. Yes. Oh, scissors. nice. So that it, is crazy. it just comes in a package and I, I'm assuming we put it together and it looks like this. I guess so. Wow, what an interesting idea. This is a very creative Oh, and box. That's, that's interesting, too, because the manufacturer of the U-Gears is Ukrainian Gears. <gasps> so, is it really? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Supporting Ukraine. Yeah, yes. made in Ukraine. That's awesome. That's very awesome. Even very awesome. awesome. Yes. That's cool. That's very cool. Oh, and there's even like a little... Um, QR code scanner. so you can watch the video to see how. Oh, okay. To put is that it together. what that's for? We'll yeah. Probably need to watch the video. Yeah. That's really cool. I though. might need to ask my son to put that together. Yeah. Hmm. All Very right. Very nice. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing fabric. Oh wow. Oh, okay. I love this. Oh my gosh. This is gunmetal. Now, okay. Yeah. Take yeah, it out of the plastic. Yeah. Okay, so it's by B Stitch Me. I love oh, B Stitch is. Me. Oh, it is. Okay. Yes. Let's see here. Exclusive gunmetal fabric made by B Stitch Me. Gunmetal is a special material used to make clockwork gears and machine parts. What a perfect inspiration for the material for your next cross stitch project. Now that is gorgeous. Now that's coming across a little more gray, but it's definitely more blue in person. Very so that's well, a little is deeper. Beautiful. It's very pretty. Yeah. It is a very pretty fabric. I don't know if that gives you a better. Well, now it's looking more purpley. It. Yeah. It's definitely more blue in person, but it's beautiful. I it love it. It is very pretty. Very pretty. And this is by um, Be Stitch Me. Yes. I love Be Stitch Me. I do too. We're both in their Fabric of the Month Club. Yes, I love it. Okay. Okay. Next one underneath. Oh, here oh we gosh. go. I think it's another package we have to open. Yeah. Okay. Lots of opening. Sorry for all, right. all the delay. Yeah, that's okay. I'm looking forward to all. So seeing all these things, I this know. box is just like it keeps going. It does. Oh, that is cute. It says the oh, Black Needle Society cute. presents Steam Stitcher. If you can dream it, you can steam it. <laughs> that is so cute. And this that is the so perfect cute. size for like a Notions bag. Yes, yes. So it's the exclusive Super Steam Stitcher cute. accessory pouch designed by Tim Buren. We asked Tim to invent an automatic needle threading machine for this handy accessory pouch. Much like inventors, stitchers should always have a set of tools handy. Use this pouch to keep a set of your stitching tools close by. That is cute. Perfect size. And it's nice. You can wipe it off. Yes. Very cute. I know. I was going to say it looking the inside. Very nice. <laughs> Usually these bags are so big, so it's kind of nice to get a smaller yes. one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think there's more in there. One more. One nice. more. Or more. Maybe oh. One more. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. That is cute. Very cute. Oh my gosh. We got a pattern. By Summer House. Summer House Stitch Work. Yes. I just bought their new um, spring one from market. So it's called, yeah, go ahead and show okay. it. It's called Superior Bees, Professor Hyveman's Clockwork Pollinations Pattern. We asked Beth to design this month's pattern after coming across her postcard series with similar steampunk vibes. I haven't seen that series. I need to check I that out. We think she outdid herself. <clears throat> A note from Beth, French knots called for in the pattern can be replaced with beads. I will definitely be doing that because I'm not a French knotter. That is so that is cute. So cute. It's really cute. Okay, well, I don't know about you, but this box was it was great, amazing, amazing. I, I didn't miss anything last time. I think I missed. I know last item time I did there. miss yes. something. I'm I like, think oh, the counter or something. Yes. This is what a creative box. I would have never, never thought of that topic or subject. And and now I like want to go read the books. I do too. And I want to go check out her other patterns in the steampunk series. Yes. So like, 
Who knows? We might become all steampunk. Very cute. <laughs> that was fun. What was your favorite item? Ooh, that's hard. Uh, you always ask me that. I know. You sorry. Off it's not a trick question. question. I don't know. You know, I really like all of it. I'm excited to have some of you mirrors beautiful floss. Mm -hmm. I have not used her floss, believe it or not. Um, I bought some and I just, I haven't used it. So I need to find a special project and use it. Well, it's That's silk, my problem actually. because I don't want to use it. I know it's, it's so, so special. Cute. I don't want to I'm like, this project it. isn't special enough for her, yeah. for her silks, but They're if really you don't pretty. use it. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I think my, so you like the silks the best? I do. I like the silks. I think, I think for me, I love the pattern the best. I'm excited to stitch that. So it's a steampunk beehive. Come on. I know. I know. <laughs> it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Very awesome. And I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen any of the series of these patterns. No, no, I haven't. Or either, I haven't so. recognized them as being yeah, related we, to that. Yeah. I bought the, um, the summer house stitch works, the winter cometh and the spring awakens. Oh, yes. Yes. But, um, other than that, this is kind of a new designer to me. So I need to check yes. out more of her stuff. So, um, thanks for joining, joining us and watching our video. Um, just a reminder, um, I am a Black Needle Society rep, so um, I have a code that you can use to get 5% off of your vault purchase. When do they put things in the vault? Is it the first? It's so today, right. So it should be, and, and, and sometimes things are a little different, but usually it's the first of the month of the of the following month. So in other words, the first of April, and it's usually goes on sale at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. And, um, and you know, if there's a really particular item that you want, you really need to get on like right then and there and get it. But items that they, and once they sell out, they're sold out, mm -hmm. but items that go into the vault, they stay into the vault until they're sold out. So, mm -hmm. um, there, there's even items from previous, um, boxes that'll be in there if they're not sold out yet. So, yeah. So that's a great way to get your hand on some of these items, you know, um, if you haven't, if you weren't able to get a box. So you can use my code. It's stitchy Sarah five, all one word. Um, I'll put it in the description box below and you can also find it on my Instagram, which is stitchy Sarah reads. Um, and yeah, you can get 5% off of your purchase. And I believe, I believe it's a one-time, uh, code, but I could be wrong. I'll have to double check that. So, all right. Well, I know that was fun. Yes. All right. Well, have a good one and I uh, hope you'll come back and see us again. Bye. Bye guys.